This is Jonathan and his son Ezra. Jonathan and his wife Beth bought their first house in Clement Falls, Oregon, and they were very excited for what was in store next. It had the exact amount of space that we needed for our family, um, as it were, and it had room to grow. And we were really excited about um, everything that we could put into it, and we did put a lot into it. We put a lot of sweat equity and a lot of um, blood, sweat, and tears into making the house our home. But after two weeks of living in the house, the Hankins family started getting very sick. For two and a half weeks, my wife, my two-year-old son, and I were experiencing dry mouth. Ezra and Beth were both experiencing breathing, respiratory problems. I was experiencing headaches and nosebleeds. Even the last night that we lived in the house, my two-year-old son couldn't drink water because his mouth hurt so bad. That's when they found out from neighbors that they thought the house was a former meth lab. We found out from the neighbors that they suspected that there was some drug activity in the house. And after my family was experiencing the symptoms that we were experiencing, they even went so far as saying that they may have even thought the house may have been a lab. When they had the house tested for meth, it came in at a 51, which is 100 times the limit of what is considered contaminated. We learned that most of what we had was contaminated with the meth residue in the house. So that means our couches, our beds, our rugs, uh, Ezra's stuffed toys and toys belongings and much of our kitchen appliances, everything gone. It's kind of like a slow house fire, only we get to choose what we lose and what we don't lose and insurance doesn't cover it. Because of the meth, they were forced to move out of their house, and as of today, they are still making payments on it. Yes, we are still paying the mortgage of the house uh, month by month, as well as paying rent for the house that we're now living in. The Hankins have decided they want to stand up and make a change. In the meantime, we started a petition through change.org, and we got over 200,000 signatures on our petition. And our petition is simply asking Freddie Mac not only to remediate our family's loss, but set a precedence and create some policy changes so that the same thing will happen to future home buyers. The Hangits have decided that even though their home is unlivable, wherever they live, as long as they're together, it's home. I'm Johnny Spinelli for the Ravens Report. Have a nice day and stay safe, Ridgeview.